it's collective. You know, I'm not the only one up in that office. You know, we have 40 or 50 people that work up there every day. And the efforts of all of those people, whether it's the scouts, the front office, people back of the house, um, you know, the job Terry and his staff have done have been unbelievable. But knowing that you have someone you can turn to from a leadership standpoint, like Paul, when you need help, when you need guidance, when you need resources, and he's always there, and he's so committed to the organization, it, it just, it, it gives you a blanket of comfort knowing that you've got the support. I, I didn't leave for nothing. You know, I, I love the Los Angeles Clippers, and, you know, I had a great run there. And it was hard for my wife, my family, and my kids to move, you know, out of the only city they'd ever lived in. But they were willing to do it to support me. And like I said, it all just kind of worked in place. You know, um, we hired Terry. He's been an incredible coach. You know, Chris came on board not long after me and completely revamped everything going on up here. And like I said, having Paul embrace the vision of everyone from what goes on on the court, off the court, behind the scenes. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been a great run so far. And I think I just think we got to the point where we were, rele we were relevant quicker than we'd anticipated. And now the key is to sustain that. And I know Paul drives us every day to make sure that we put the best product on the floor for the fans. And I think right now we've got the fans, the season ticket holders, in a really good place in terms of their support of the team and the kind of guys and the culture that we have. And it's our job every day to make sure that we keep that you know, as consistent as possible. Terry and his assistants are on the floor every day working with these guys, watching film. Um, they're a big part of what we do, even if they're not getting the minutes they normally would. You know, and look, some of our young players are a little bit hamstrung by the fact that they got drafted by a lottery team and they woke up on a second round playoff team. And, you know, just the reality is that teams don't win at the level we're winning at with young players. And they've got to wait their turn. But what, what we are all pleased with is that Terry shows the confidence in them to play them in big moments. Um, you know, it's very rare you see a guy go from the inactive list to being a starting small forward and have a team go 4-0. Um, you know, we saw a great effort from Myers the other night. And everybody has kind of stepped up. And I think more than anything, our young guys are egoless to the point where they know their minutes are going to be situational and they'll just wait and they'll support one another when they get their chance. And when the veterans come back, they're willing to take a back seat again. Timing-wise, was it good to get this sort of out of the way midseason so you can you know, move on from here? Yeah, I, look, I, mean, I was open to doing it whenever, you know, Paul and, and Bert Cold and, you know, the organization were willing to do it. You know, I, I came up here and I joked a lot about the rain and, you know, it was a culture shock for my family. But, you know, not unlike Chris's kids, my kids love it here. Um, you know, I'm not so happy with the fact that they decide to go to shorts and a T-shirt to school every day when it's 38 and raining. But, you know, they're, they're Oregonians now. So, you know, they love it here. My wife's happy. And, you know, quite honestly, you know, my life is my job. You know, as long as things are going well with the Trailblazers, you know, every day I come to work and they are, I'm happy. You know, the concern for me is always how, how my family is doing. And, and they love it here and they're happy here off the court. So if my family's happy in their personal life and I'm, you know, doing what our owner needs us to do on my professional life, then everything's going in the right direction. We've got a big offseason this year with a lot of guys who you're either going to resign or, or look to sign. Um, does having this deal done and them knowing that you're going to be here long term, does that have any, any value, you think? Or does that help in, the, in that process of maybe selling free agents? Well, I think from a consistency standpoint, you know, the relationship not just with the players but with their agents because you've got an open line of communication. You, can, you know what's important to the players. Um, you know what direction they want to go in in terms of the rest of their career or the next step. That helps. But, look, at the end of the day, the, the, the players in this organization trust the organization. They trust Paul's commitment. They trust the trailblazers. You know, they trust the infrastructure that's in place and the culture and the style of basketball that we play. And that's what's paramount to them. You know, at the end of the day, you know, whether I'm the general manager or I'm not the general manager, you know, that doesn't change much, quite honestly. But as long as the culture is what we've built and the one that they're embracing right now and they're performing in, that's what's going to make them make a decision, hopefully, to stay with us when they become free agents. One of the things we had talked about when we took over was sustainability. And I think the key was that to prove to everybody that last year wasn't a fluke, you know, that the core of this team is capable of competing for a championship and being a factor in the playoff race. And I think, you know, look, we're only a third of the way through the season, but I think there are enough positive indicators to know we're on the right track. And we'll look for opportunities if we can to improve the roster to give Terry and his staff a better chance of competing at a higher level. But at the end of the day, we're comfortable with where we are. And um, you know, evidence by tonight, right? I mean, how many national television games do we have this year relative to, you know, previous years? Which means, you know, there's an appetite nationally for the style of basketball that we play and the success that we've had.